I like to sing, dance, Trump is saving America, and all Americans should pray for his continued success. It's a position held by Grand Theft Audio, their devilishly handsome Jake Belcher. Are we supposed to believe that Bolstered part? Bolstered by the razor-sharp wit of Brant Thelman. Grand Theft Audio airs live on Zina TV Wednesdays at 5 p.m. If any of you tune in after that... Well, <laughs> so we don't know which no. parts to believe. Okay, because so, of... no, because that's tongue-in-cheek. That's my tongue is in my cheek, I hope. Someone was suspected of being responsible, but it was all hushed up. Hey, party people! This is Jake Belcher, and I'm Brant Thoman. And um, he, well, I think that's going to be Brant Thoman. You take yourself. Oh, hold on a sec. Sure. There we go. There All I right. am. Yeah, Brant's uh, Hi, live in the studio with us this week. Uh, you guys got to see our uh, little intro happening there. Uh, people who were watching the show last week saw that we got to write our own on-air intro for another show here on the network, uh, Vicky Abelson's The Broadcast. And, um, Brent, you had those two other videos for me. Uh, we have one video where we get it down to exactly what it is I'd like her to say. And, uh, Brent, okay, look, before we get too deep into this, Brent, you thought for sure this was not going to happen, right? No, I really didn't think that uh, this was going to go on the air. Yeah. The, the, uh, I didn't think that she would agree to it in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Uh, but she wanted to do live <clears throat> reads of commercials. So yeah. So we wrote one for ourselves. And she actually we pretty got, much did we, it, man. We, we got approval, yeah, uh, for, for for what for the print that we had put up, and uh, she she went along with it, realizing that, also recognizing within it that it's tongue in cheek. That uh, oh yeah, I think she says that, but she was pretty upset. We we cut this down, so like uh, let, let's play the video of what I wanted first, okay, and um, we can show people how far I got in, in, into it. Say, uh, Trump is saving America, and all Americans should pray for him is a position held by the devilishly handsome Jake Belcher. Um, bolstered with, by the razor-sharp wit of Brant Thoman, Grand Theft Audio can be found here on Zinna.tv, Z420.tv, and Facebook Live. Fucking dead on! Um, we play one more time what, what she actually uh, read for us then, and um, you can see... Like, she didn't uh, change anything. She fucking did it like a professional, man. Now, in the future, I'm going to have to read one for her. And uh, she started giving me the script. I said, no, 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 no. You have to write it out like I did very nicely for you because she gave me this rambling thing about how Right, right. She, she, she was is. just saying, you're going to have to remember this. Like, no, you no. put it you put it down in writing, and I will read it. That's right. So um, in the future, she didn't get it to me this week. I will have to pay her back her kindness. But here's that read one more time. I'm going to pull this so that we can show it on our show next week. I'm going to have her say, uh, Trump is saving no, no, America, we want. and all Americans want. I thought, should I thought pray I, for him. Here we go. Trump is saving America, and all Americans should pray for his continued success. It's a position held by Grand Theft Audio, their devilishly handsome Jake Belcher. Are we supposed to believe that Bolstered part? Bolstered by the razor-sharp wit of Brant Thelman. Grand Theft Audio airs live on Zina TV Wednesdays at 5 p.m. If any of you tune in after that, well, <laughs> so we don't know which no. parts to believe. Okay, so of... no, because that's tongue in cheek. That's my tongue is in my cheek, I hope. Oh, I love it. Yes. Uh, good sport, Vicky. Thank you very much. I look forward to reading yours. Um, all right, let's get on to the other nonsense of this week. Uh, I'd like to. Okay, I'm not just going to talk bad about that show. I'm going to talk bad about another show we have here on the network here on Zinna.tv. Uh, on Monday, we have some hosts come on, and they start off their show. They want to talk about how dumb, or they want to talk about how dumb the media is, and how much they want to talk about how you can just glance up at the at the. At the eclipse. At the like, eclipse, right. They're, they're both sitting here laughing back and forth about how, ho, ha, 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 like, you don't have to have glasses. You can just glance up real quick. You can just glance up real quick. And then uh, during the commercial break, I informed them that uh, Donald Trump had a picture taken of him glancing up at it. So we come back out of the commercial break, 
and instantly they just turn their entire position around where now it's like oh you're so dumb for looking up at the eclipse yourself without your glasses when they were literally fucking that very same show talking about how like you could just do that so it's i think it's called cognitive dissonance like where you don't have where your thoughts don't all work together and blend into something that makes sense um if if you had made fun of it in the first place and then you made fun of him fine but you were advocating for your viewers to do it like it was perfectly fine it's just (laughs) i do it all the time yeah 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 yeah, I mean, uh, it was a, it was it was an interesting statement to sit there and say, "Oh, I've done it," and then to turn around and then lambast somebody who themselves had done it. Yeah, you know? so it was only because it's Trump because it's just cool to hate our president. Look, it's not cool to hate our president, okay? Like you, you, um, I'm not saying you have to be somebody who you know wants to you know lick his butthole and say he's great, but to actively just hate our president is a giant waste of time. That's against your best interests, unless you're like from some other country. I know we have a lot of viewers. Uh, in the past in like uh, um, like uh, Dubai and other places mm-hmm. um, so maybe you people are allowed to hate our president but if you live here in America I, it just seems like it's a giant waste of your time alright speaking of giant waste of time we got uh, Russell Crate Loot Crate Pro Russell Crate and, and uh, Power Geek Box uh, this is uh, my favorite show of the month we get to open up all this shit and see if any of it has a, even a slight remote chance of making my life any better. Right. You know? if it, if it, or, or possibly make the wall of uh, memorabilia. That's possible. Because the wrestling crates could potentially give you that. You never know. Um, so uh, what are we going to start off with? Okay, uh, I'm going to go <laughs> viewer's choice. You're, you're my, you're my I'm viewer. I'm your viewer, right so, so which one let's, you let's knock out one with? of the wrestling crates to okay, start. Okay, uh, then let's go with uh, this one here. Sure, um, wrestle crate it is. So I'm going to move these aside because it's disrespectful to... Um, Pro Wrestle Crate, who is okay. I got some pretty decent stuff out of them. They have um, redeemed themselves more recently. Yeah, they've been better than they have before. So let's uh, cut the tape on this. I had someone who's like, "Oh, if you uh, you're not cutting the tape, you're you're pre scouting." Thanks, man. I'm not pre scouting. Like I was just trying to make it easier. So because yeah, the the side ones too. So I didn't have to. I do need, this I, on need, the I, air. Need, I need to get you a, a nice little uh, device. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, this knife is okay. Uh, it goes on my keychain, so. If you're around me, I have I have ways of killing you. Okay, that's probably not true. I probably don't actually have ways of killing you. Uh, but uh, I can still goof around and pretend that I do. Okay, let's see what we got here. First thing out. We've got a little uh, pint-sized hero from WWE. The package has uh, Brock Lesnar. Ooh, there's a little Kevin Owens. And uh, Andre the Giant and an uh, Ultimate Warrior. I almost always get Andre the Giant when there's a, sure. a, a sort of pack. I don't know why it is. I just kind of... Uh, Predestined somehow to get some Andre the Giant. Who did I get this time? Uh, no, I got like the worst guy on the fucking roster right now. This guy is, was literally demoted last night. Um, I just want to make sure. Yeah, this is a little baby Enzo Amore. Yeah, I'll bring um, up uh, camera three, and you can. Uh, I got a nice little tight shot, so you can kind of oh, show off. Oh, little Enzo Amore! Why did Enzo get demoted? Uh, because he basically sucks, and he in the in the locker room, he's just a turd. Like, uh, he thinks that he's a badass, and um, okay. he, he's bought into his own hype, which is never uh, good. Let's see what we got next. We've got a um, a sticker. It's a temporary tattoo. Yeah. So I'm it looks like Bautista's? That could be Bautista. It could be... Randy um, Orton. It could yeah, be... Who knows John who Cena. it's supposed to be... Um, I didn't see it off the quick list. Oh, this is a Goldberg. Goldberg, of course. You know what? Goldberg. You know, he, he Goldberg. is so in the lexicon right now in oh, regards sure. to this. So, sure. I mean. People love him. Oh, they love him. Let's see what we got. Uh, Tales from the Road, a, another headlocked. This is the thing that I accused on the is first that the episode same one? of being the gay porn. Um, but it's much straighter than that. In, in fact, every episode I've seen so far, he has sex with a woman. So, like, he's proving all the time how, right, how, how straight he is. Right. Because <laughs> nothing proves uh, straightness more than that. Uh, we got a DVD. Uh, Gold 20K, 2K17, Wrestling's Toughest Tournament. So, um, this came from June 
eleventh, twenty seventeen. Whole bunch of these people have now gone on to the WWE, like Leo Rush. Who's Wait, June eleventh, twenty seventeen. So this is just the la- three yeah. months ago. Yeah, this just happened. Okay, so a lot of these guys have moved up. Okay. Yeah, so that's nice. At least a few of them have now on to the WWE. Uh, one in particular, Leo Rush, who uh, is in a little bit of trouble right now for having one of the worst cells in the history of wrestling. He took an off the top rope pile driver and then just stood up afterwards. Like he didn't bother. He didn't sell it at all. He didn't even pretend okay. that it did, did anything to him. Like, and now that guy's going on to the WWE where he can be uh, further uh, ruined. Let's see what we got. A uh, mini magazine, the Professional Wrestling Fans Magazine, calling shots. The cover is a tag team that has now been broken up. So when was this thing put together? Uh, an old magazine of, I mean, literally, this, this magazine has now been broken up. The Kurt Angle, uh, this is his, this is his boy. Now and, and now uh, they're not now they're not a team anymore. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think you can get it on the top tight shot a little bit. Colin Spots. Yeah, that's such what. Ch- what the hell is on top of Angle's head? Is that Angle there with whatever that is? No. Um, that is the one that you think is Angle, which I'm gonna guess is this guy. Right? Yes. Uh, no, they went with the other guy being his son. Believe it or not. Uh, so yeah, it does look like uh, Chad Gable looks more like his son than Jason Jordan does. But hey, look, I, I'm not in creative. So, like, I, I don't know. It's not, it's not my job to figure this shit out. Uh, we got two minutes in the segment. So that seems just about perfect. Uh, I got a couple of small items. All right. I just moved, and I put my one from last month on my, um, my refrigerator. Th- I got a, um, a magnet of AJ Styles. This is a magnet of Chris Hero. No, that's Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, baby, who also just debuted this week on uh, NXT. Um, this is a pin I will never, ever use. Uh, a little Doink the Clown. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, unless I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm, that, that's, that right there, that, they, 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 they have totally... This, this this box has become a total disappointment. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely disgusted by that. It, 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 it's, it is pretty bad, man. Uh, we got a sticker, a shirt, and a T-shirt. We got to get through these quick. The the uh, autograph is uh, Matt Riddle. Okay, um, he's kind of this uh, a nobody. At least right. right now, he's a nobody. Sure. Uh, and let's see what the shirt is. Uh, it does mm. does this make this sh- this box good enough, or is it uh, garbage? I feel like hot rod. Okay, I feel like hot rod. Okay, so um, is there anything on the back? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but not enough to um, to really. Is, is it supposed to be Rowdy Roddy Piper? I don't think so. I'm gonna go with. Well, I'm gonna go with that. This is maybe supposed to be for Roderick Strong. Another wrestler who's on the scene right I, now. I don't know because because Rowdy Roddy Piper and oh, Hot yeah. Rod was that that was the T-shirt he used to wear. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Okay, that. so what is what does the list say? We real quick because we are running right. out of time. Um, you you are right as to who this is supposed to be. Uh, I feel like a Hot Rod T-shirt. Uh, just when you think you know the answers, he changes the questions. This is a homage to one of the greatest pro wrestlers and pro entertainment of all time. Um, if you love hip hop. Or the hot rod, you'll love this rowdy shirt. So I guess it's supposed to be Rowdy Piper, but even they don't have the balls to say that's what it is. Well, because uh, this isn't sponsored by the WWE, they may not have the rights to actually. They put that T-shirt out to try and just make you think it's a like an actual Rowdy Rowdy Piper T-shirt. And what's the what's the sticker? Uh, the sticker is a just a thing for their Russell Crate. Please, right. please put it somewhere and tell people right. about it. Uh, so yeah, that's it, and uh, that's that box. We're gonna come back on the other side with another box, and um, will I talk shit about more uh, Zinner TV shows? You never know.
We are live on Zinna.tv and we will be up here all night interviewing amazing artists. Hey, party people, we're back here on Zinna.tv, Z420.tv, uh, Facebook Live. Um, maybe we're not on Z420.tv today, but we will be later. Yes. Um, this is Jake Belcher. And, and uh, I'm Brand Thoman. All right. Okay, so uh, another thing going on in the world before we get into another one of these boxes is uh, this weekend there's a big fight. They have a uh, UFC fighter who's gone into box for yeah. his first time right against uh, maybe the best boxer of all time and people are like oh who's gonna win the best ever or like a guy doing it his first time so brian what do you think who's gonna okay, win well no, it's it's not it's his first time in a boxing ring for sure yes. but he is a trained fighter he is a ufc champion so the fact that he's going in he doesn't mean he did, he's without some kind of punching skill i think he's going to go into this with a more of a street fighters mentality kind mm -hmm. of uh, of a fight he's gonna and you know I, from what I've heard in his training uh, the biggest problem he's had is the not grappling and he had to he had to he had to um, like get that out of his system that when he would go to, to fight somebody with sparring he would want to be sure, able to totally grab a hold sense. you totally can't be, you're not going to be able to do that now he'll probably be able to get away with a warning or two uh, if that starts to happen but uh, I don't know I, I I'm rooting for Conor McGregor just because um, Floyd Mayweather, it seems like he's it seems like he's only in for, into these matches at this point for the payout. Well, his big thing is money. It's the money team, and he's making multiple, multiple millions of dollars. They haven't even figured out how many millions of dollars he's going to make off of it yet. Right, exactly. It's, I mean, because the Manny Pacquiao fight uh, was like a, a $50 million payout to him and like 30 to Manny. I mean, crazy. it's insane amounts of money for, for these fights. That's crazy. And, uh, but I, I think that in the end, this guy's going to have no fucking chance, man. Like, I think that he's never been hit by somebody who punches uh, as hard and as fast as um, Mayweather. As Mayweather does. And he's going to be overwhelmed by punches to the face. And this guy's used to being able to, you know, get away from being punched in the face by grabbing and, you know, trying to choke someone. But that's not going to happen this time. So I think he's in trouble. All right. So your your prediction was. Oh, know, I haven't made a prediction. I'm going to predict that. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to stick. I'm, I'm rooting for Conor McGregor. I, I predict he will win. All right. OK. I, I think that I, I, I don't think that um, uh, Mayweather is ready for the type of, of fighting that. Conor McGregor is used to. I think his types of his types of punches are going to be a very different kind of thing for him to to to, to deal with. Well, so. I'm not. Uh, I don't really have a rooting interest, uh, but I do predict that Mayweather will uh, womp him. Uh, so, you, by your choice, I wrote down a C, a uh, a V for like a kind of half of them wouldn't really matter, or a F, and uh, you went with C. So uh, we're okay. going to open our uh, next box here. We got another wrestling box here to open. This is Pro Wrestling Crate. Probably, uh, definitely the superior to me of the pro wrestling um, boxes. And I've gotten some cool stuff out of this, including a handmade by Mick Foley himself, Mr. Sock.
and only one piece of tape to cut on it. So uh, good job there, guys. Uh, this is Pro Wrestling Crate for August of 2017. Let's see what we got going on inside here, baby. Uh, first thing we've got is a kick, a chew bubble gum and kick ass. Ass kicking sugar free bubble gum. Ooh, sugar free. Perfect for you. Uh, yeah. So I guess this is another Roddy Piper type item in that he you don't said. You want to flip that over. What? You'll want to flip that over. Is he would kick ass and uh, eat bubble gum in a movie called um, They Live. So this is just a. Oh my goodness! Could could it be? Could, could could both boxes be a Roddy Piper themed, uh, box? themed box? You never know, man. You never you never know quite what you're gonna get. Uh, yeah, they do. This box does something called themed. Okay, so I just saw the name of this um, box is Heels. So these, okay, that makes sense. These are all gonna be because Piper was one of the greatest heels in, in the eighties. Oh okay. sweet! Uh, my just oh my sweet favorite. indeed. So this is a sh- a DVD called. Talk Steen Talk. It is Kevin Steen's talk show. I'm sure it's just uh, a bunch of good nonsense. Uh, who I don't know who he has on here. I'm going to guess some of his friends from PWG and the like. But uh, this looks like fun. Uh, he t- talks about his dragon with his time with Super Dragon, and that will be an awesome watch. I will watch that. So so far, I'm uh, fairly well happy with this uh, this box. Got an, a, a pin. The Elite. It is the exact same <laughs> image as the knockoff shitty shirt that I got last month from the other company. So this makes me think maybe that image was as knockoff and shitty as I thought it was. Maybe not. Like, how could they put it out in two different places if it's, uh, you know, garbage? Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, a little micro wrestler. Uh, let's see who we got going on here. Big Van Vader. I love Vader. Look, when you're a fat kid and the world champion is also like a, a big fat a guy. A big guy. Yeah, uh, you totally love them. So that's a uh, big Van Vader. That's pretty cool. I'm, uh, you know, not overjoyed with it, but happy. Sure, it's not going to make the wall, but it's it's at least it's something that make, that puts a smile on your face, right? Yeah, that's right. A pot holder, um, cooking. <laughs> I don't know, cooking with Latino heat. Oh no! <laughs> now, what does the caution thing say at the top there? The caution thing says. Um, caution for display purposes only. Use at your own risk. So don't cook with Latino heat. He, here's why I bet that happened because this company right here, Loot Crate, yes, they put out a uh, a glove in my very first box I got, a cooking glove, and it was a power gauntlet from um, like Marvel's Infinity Wars or something like with the the you know, like the you know the power gauntlet with the gems on it. Um, and they forgot to put the fucking cushion inside. So they put it out as a cooking glove, but they forgot to put the stuff inside. So when you went to go grab the pots, it was just a piece of cloth, and people would burn their hands, and it would be uh, officially not good. This is not a good shot to be on brand. It's just I apologize. I was uh, I got distracted by something I was reading. Yeah, sorry. That was uh, no, no, my, that was completely my fault. I apologize. Sure, terrible, terrible shot. No. All right, we got, a, we got shirts and autographs left. Um, let's see what the shirt is. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, so he, he's one of my favorites also. Um, it is a CM Punk shirt. Pipe bomb, okay. But I don't think I would ever wear that. It looks um, kind of juvenile and, and dumb. Yeah, I don't think I would wear that shirt. But that's okay. I mean, they, they tried. I like CM Punk. Uh, we, we're down to the autographs. Is, is there any um, chance there's anyone good enough in here for me to say this box is good? Some, no, some kind of heel. This box is good. This box is I got a a DVD that I'll definitely watch. Sure. So it could be worse. And, you uh, know, I got to say, Eddie Guerrero, to me, doesn't go down as, like, one of the all-time great heels. I'm kind of surprised he's in there. He w- he really was uh, a face for more of his time that I recall him being a heel. I agree. I, he, he's basically uh, a good guy. And I know that Latino Heat was kind of that heel persona that he took on, but I just uh, – it's an interesting choice. But finally – uh, all right. Okay, I like him. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's, okay, awesome. So we got uh, first Jim Cornette. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, uh, I'll take a Jim Cornette. Uh, secondly, we've got Papa Shango. <laughs> there's a good heel. Interesting. So Papa Shango, uh, this guy uh, w- was a wrestler that portrayed many characters. Uh, this was probably the least favorite of his characters to me. He was also known as um, the Godfather, the Ho! 
Oh, is that who Papa Shango was? Yeah, Papa Shango was also Did him. not realize that. I yeah. don't think I ever knew that. He was also Kama, the ultimate fighting machine. I remember Kama. Um, when he came into uh, the Nation of Domination. And he was the good father when he gave up his hoes. And he became part of the moral majority. So, okay, that's an okay box. Um, the autographs are kind of fun. This shirt, I'm, I'll never wear that shirt. Even though I love CM Punk. Like... I, I'm just, I'm just never. There's just no fucking way, man. Pipe bomb. It just, it just, I don't know. It just looks stupid. Uh, the rest of the box, this gum is kind of garbage. This box is maybe six out of ten. It's, I it's, would agree. Yeah, it's better than regular, but it's not good compared to the last one. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'll say. All right. All right. We got two more boxes. Uh, the next two have nothing to do with wrestling. So lucky you. I'm Vicki Abelson. Who the fuck is Vicki Abelson? Hello. Ha! I wrote a book called Don't Jump. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, and my fucking mother. Not my mother, Andy Stone's mother. Andy Stone is my heroine, and she was addicted to everything pretty much except heroin. Oh my God, oh yes! She just totally captures the excitement of, of rock stars. And famous athletes and famous comedians sort of an insider's view from the outside. The warmth and wit of Vicky's writing knocked me out in, in a good way, not, not like Cosby. Too soon? Don't jump. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, and my fucking mother. Damn, that was gonna be the name of my book. Vicky wrote a book? Vicki Abelson's long-awaited new book, Don't Jump, is finally here. Don't miss it. Who the fuck is Vicki Abelson? You ran from home and you're on the street. You've been ripped off, you've been used, and you could be killed. There is a way out. There is a way off the street. Not tomorrow, but now. Runaway Hotline will get you off the street. Call Runaway Hotline, toll free, anytime, day or night. Runaway Hotline gets your message to those who care. Call now and get off the street. Jason Stewart here for Zinna TV. On the show Absolutely Jason Stewart, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Big guests, everyone from the gayest to gay to the straightest to straight. David, uh... He's absolutely Jason, he's absolutely gay, he'll absolutely brighten up. Hey there, party people. We're back on Grand Theft Audio. This is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brent Thoman. And uh, we want to thank all our people out there watching. Um, one of our viewers, uh, Kyle McGregor, uh, said that he has to take uh, McGregor, and obviously for the name. Um, I hope that... Uh, you know, your Saturday night isn't ruined because of it. My Saturday well, night is almost ruined because I have to go pick up the wife on Saturday night from the airport. So well, I can't really commit to, um, you know, knowing exactly when the fight's going to go off and stuff. They, they've given it a six-hour window for As to when they're going to come out and potentially fight. That's fucking crazy. A six-hour window? Like, you people can't just tell me <clears throat> the fight's going to be at 10 o'clock. Well, uh, Yahoo Sports is reporting that uh, a knockout victory by Conor McGregor against Floyd May Mayweather in one of the first four rounds Saturday night could spell disaster for Nevada's sports book and could participate in the biggest loss on a sports bet in MGM Resort history. There are just so, so many people who are, who are rooting for M May McGregor to beat him. Wow. Yep. Wow. Well, and I, betting, uh, on, I and betting on it. I hope they get rich. I hope they get rich off of the, all those dummies. All right, here we go with our next box. Um, I'll just choose this time. I'm going to go with Powered Geek Box. Powered and we'll Geek Box. Loop Crate off for the denouement. That's a fancy French word for the end. So, uh, Powered Geek Box. Uh, this company is all pop culture stuff. They don't theme themselves out like the other companies do. And I've had disappointing uh, results with these guys in the past in that they've sent me the same thing multiple times. Yes. I mean, that's not good. Um, that's that's really just playing your people for suckers. I'm a sucker, though. I get it. I get it. I'm a sucker. Uh, let's see what we have going on. Now, I would say that this is the August box for these people. 
uh, but it's not because they can't ever get their shit together to get things. So this is still time. July. This is the July box um, for <laughs> wow these people. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic, man. Uh, I, I'm not sure that they're going to stay in business all that much longer. I, I don't know any inside information like that they aren't making their rent, but something is going bad here where they're not able to get their shit out at a decent time at all. Let's see what we got uh, coming out of this box first. It's uh, hefty. It is a Deadpool solar-powered NECA body knocker. So... Have you ever gone to like some shitty store and they have like a a, a, a kitty that waves? It's powered by the sun. Yeah, he. he I mean, he has. So he he his his, his little body's gonna go. Duck, 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 duck. I um, I would say I can open this up on the air, but it is. It's one of those sealed to the brim. Maybe, maybe at the like, break we can we can get it out and get it up and running so we can yeah, keep yeah. dancing at the end of the show. We'll, 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 we'll try to do that and make that happen. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Ooh, We've got... Looks like a book. No. Tattoo pens. Jesus Christ. Design your own... Col- design your own colorful tattoo. So this is just a pen you can write on your own skin with? Is that basically... But how is that different than any other fucking pen that's ever been made? Uh... <laughs> Like really? Can't can I just do this with like colored markers? Well, I guess you could, but these are colored pens. Oh, they're pens. Yeah, yeah. So Six they have the, they have the ooh, green, purple, black, silver. That's fucking for rich people. Yeah. Uh, and pink. I'm sure it's gonna look great on white skin. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. Are we racist? I, I'm not. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm not sure how. No, no. I'm. I was about to say I'm not sure that fits into a geek box. But if you put that on your body, you are a fucking. Geek. Yep. Like, that, that is about as accurate of a box. You're going to draw your own t- t- tattoos. Yeah, as accurate of a box as I've ever seen. Uh, Superman. Oh, goody, another mug to add to your collection yeah. of ones that get donated. Yeah. Uh, disguised as mild-mannered reporter Clark Kent. Um, uh, Meh. Uh, Meh. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about you, Power Geek Box. Uh, there, there's your this, power is weak. There's never anything good in it we got here. Ooh, um, and, and it's bubble wrapped. Oh, bubble wrap. So something. Oh, I, I'm going to guess that initially that had gone over this to keep it safe during trans. You might be right, but um, it fell off during the the month delay in when you're supposed to get it, and it actually uh, got to me. Uh, we got here, Bio World, a Star Wars. Okay, I like Star Wars at least. It is a keychain. Um, I don't have a keychain on right now. Maybe I'll put this on right now, and this will change my life. Maybe something will actually get added from one of these boxes. <laughs> my... Wow, talk about sealed to the brim. Yeah, man, I'm not good at opening packages. I don't have claws like uh, women or animals do. Okay, so a keychain. It's really, really heavy and, and dark. Of the... But yeah, it's a little on the clunky side. Yeah. Um, and it's not even a bottle opener. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, it's heavy, man. You could you could oh, fuck shit. someone up with that. Just um, um, it's official Lucas uh, film, so that, that's a great. It's legit. It's uh, the legit stuff. Um, Ooh, another toy. A C three PO vinyl bobblehead. So again, this guy is supposed to knock his head back and forth, just like this uh, Deadpool. Is supposed to rock back we, we, and forth. We got some dancers we for got, the end of the show. We got knockers and rockers. Uh, no shirt in this one. You got two toys. Yeah, that's true. Rip and off. Th- that's probably better than it. Uh, last, this is a touch control joystick for touch screen. Works with all touch screen phones and tablets. So um, it says. Choose a game to play. Stick the sucker over the center of the on-screen controller. The electroconductive rubber will now touch the screen. What? Okay, I've got I've got a game that actually uses that an on an on you do? Uh, uh, joystick. Yeah. So I will have to give that a test. The ultimate retro g- gaming accessory, Brant. Since you have uh, knowledge in this, oh my god, look at that thing! It really is literally a joystick. Yeah. The, okay. The, I'll, yeah. The, okay. The, let me. The, let me. The, that goes on your screen. Jeez. Okay. Great. And, um, Great. So that th- that's your um, p- plunder from the boxes. Woo! So um, unless unless there's something here 
that you've seen that you want more? Not than so that? far, but there's always what. There's still one box to go. Are you willing to risk it? N- I don't know, because it's pretty nice, man. I've never seen one of these before in my I life. Didn't, this was Neil. This didn't know this was deal or no deal. So. It may be, well, it, it, may, it may be now. Um, the ultimate gaming accessory. Is it also a keychain? Um, it can be. Yes. Meh. Well, you you don't have to use the keychain part right. of it. Yeah. So interesting product. Um, a bobblehead C3PO, the Deadpool. Um, I give this box six and a half. Six and a half. I mean, okay. Look, the Star Wars. Thing. Let's see what. Let's see what the body knockers does after we've got them powered up a little bit with some power over the next couple of minutes under some lights. Okay, see you're what he right. Does. He, he, he it, might, it might bump it up to a seven. It says it can take as long as 30 to 40 seconds for him to get powered. So we have a two-minute break to get this done. All right, we'll run him outside and get him in the uh, in woof, the sun. Woof, woof, woof. We'll try, man. We'll try. We'll try. Let's, uh, let's start getting this open. Once again, I am so fortunate co-hosting with me, the owner of Hidden Streets of London, wall broker and urban art. Danny Wood. Sup, ho, how's it going? It's good to be back. Play-based artist exercising the power of words, sharing with the world motivational and inspirational messages, a writer doing time in Hollywood. Wordsmith. Hey. Play-based artist working on an international stage to spread positive messages paired with zany imagery. Meg Zany. Hey. <laughs> Getting read on a daily basis all over the world and for any writer that's just living the dream. So the- I'm putting up words that. that mean something to me, and the fact that uh, they are resonating this with so many people, Makes or just with just the masses. You. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I actually thought superheroes did street art. Zany Miss Zany. What's, What's your oh. deal? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I left the corporate world. I was there for eight Ew. years, and I wow. just was kind of like, fuck it, I don't yep. want to be there anymore. That's quit being a jerk to myself, <laughs> basically. And, and Don't be a dick. <laughs> Famous British red post box. Right? Now I'm guessing there's no permission given that. No. no. So part to do with like the, the monarch in terms of uh, you know, Elizabeth. So maybe that means she's a fan of street art. I don't know. Shouts to Liz, our queen. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do the wave? Oh, do you, oh no, it's you like know a, how to do the wrist, wave. wrist, elbow, elbow. I don't you know. know. I got no idea. I'm you not... don't know how to do the way? Great to see artists from a city so noted for its creativity coming all the way to London to brighten up a rather mm-hmm. dull summer. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? Great. Like Shakespeare Delvin. says, words, words, words. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take that shot of these little guys. Yeah, let's get those in there. Here we go. So you got uh, one dancing in the head and one dancing on the bottom. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll upgrade it. I'll say they're kind of fun, man. I got a the Power Geek box. I'm gonna I'll bump it up to an eight. Really? Eight. You're happy with both those toys? I think they're, they're kind of fun. They're cool. And, um, <coughs> there are some other nice things that were in that box. So I'll, sure. I'll say that, that that was a good box. And. You, you seem to uh, think that this... Uh, it might be something I, I'll have to give it a try, and I'll review it next week. All right, that sounds good, man. So I'm going to set these two aside, and we're going to open up our uh, last part of our July-August extravaganza. Cause, sure. Uh, they couldn't get their shit together. Uh, we got one now, box is Luke, open. Is Loot Crate on time? Uh, Loot Crate is on time, yes. Uh, Loot Crate is pretty much the best... They were one of the of innovators, these. weren't they? Yeah. I, there were probably ones who came before that did it for things that we didn't know about. But these are the ones who put it together in a way that it became commercially viable and everybody came, became jealous. They do a great job of theming their things out. Uh, I'm not sure what their theme is this month, but we can take a stab at it as, as we uh, head through. So let's see what we got going on here for the August 2017 uh, Loot Crate. We've got a adult collectible, not a toy. Okay. <laughs> Adventure that, time. That's just a mean way of telling kids not to open up a box and play with it. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you an Adventure it, Time fan? I, I, I've seen many episodes of it, sure. 
It's a it's a Tom Kenny uh, uh, animated series. I mean, in the sense he plays one of the major characters in it. So it's always fun. And that's the character that he plays. That is the Ice King. Pretty dope looking, man. Um, I like this little guy. Yep, and those are his little penguins and uh, Gunter, his uh, Gunter, his penguin. His penguin. That's and right. So that that's pretty cool, man. Um, I don't, I, I I'm not the world's biggest fan of the show. I gotta admit, okay. I was hoping that it was gonna be Jake the dog. Um, yeah, you know that's um, of course. That, that'd be better for me. Uh, Adventure Time's a fun show, so that's cool, man. Loot Crate exclusive. Let's see what we got going on next. A uh, Lord of the Rings. Is it a mug? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh man, do I want to open it? Color change glass. Yeah, let's see what's inside this thing. Uh, I don't have any cold water to actually be able to do this. So, um, but it's not—it's not exactly coffee mug, so that's nice. No, that's kind of cool actually, and I, it makes you wonder what what color it's going to change to, and and does it need cold or warm to make cold. the reaction? Cold water to um, make it react? I have a drink sitting there, but I'm not sure if it's cold enough to actually make this. Um, go or not i'm gonna i'll set this uh right here in front and see if we can um but i i th there may be literally something in this uh cup right here right there that i can not cold enough sure oh that's right we have we have chilled beverages because here at zinner.tv the name that will stand the test of time we uh we, we got bottles of ice water and stuff and and they're plenty chilly so let's see what this does you want to put it on the tight shot and we'll yeah, see if we can uh I can see Get that to uh, put the white uh, styrofoam behind so we can actually kind of see maybe where the color difference occurs. Okay, so it's kind of an orange color. Yeah, let's see what this does. So far, no, it's it's turning green. It's it's definitely becoming darker. It looks like. Hmm. Huh, Not so much that I can tell from my naked eye. I guess maybe the writing on the glass. Oh, you. Know, I think that's exactly what it is. I think the writing on the glass went from white and uh, to red when you put the cold in, cold yeah, water in. So we got that going on. Okay, maybe look, maybe this I this item isn't as big of a winner. Let's see what else we got going on. But still, kind of still kind of cool. Sure. I mean, very very interesting little concept. I I like that. We got a pin. Um, Ooh, it's says, one of the loot crate pins. They always open up something fun. Kingdom. It um, has its own garbage on here. No one would ever, ever get this pin. I'm not sure. Hopefully, the, You want to show it off at all? Uh, dude, it's, it's yeah, sure, sure. I mean, it's just a gray blob huh. of shit. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty much garbage. I, th I think I might know uh, what it might be attached to, but we're going to find out in a second. Hmm. Let's see what else we got. Uh, some type of a card. Um, okay. It looks like it's a... I don't know, like a Lord of the Ring. That is a Lord of the Rings. That is, uh, and uh, uh, that is uh, either I believe that's either Sauron or Sauron's uh, tower, one of the two towers. So I don't know. Does that other shot pick it up? Uh, yeah, it looks almost black and white in that in that shot. So I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay, I, I, I've never seen any of the. Okay, Lord of the I, okay, I have a theory. I have a theory. Well, there, and it's Lord of the Rings. You got a couple of them, but I have a theory. This might have to do with like wizards because i think that pin if i'm correct mm -hmm. and i'll check in a second but mm -hmm. go ahead let's take a look at what we got okay so this pin kind of looks like harry potter that's what i'm thinking i when i got it when i first got a little glance at it it looked like the four symbols for the harry potter classes like harry potter. and no this shirt. Now, that no is shirt i will wear that is awesome <laughs> okay, thank you. that is so cool because it's it's utilizing the graphics to make it yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of that. That's nice. Um, Link is awesome. That is a very cool T-shirt. So he's not necessarily a wizard, though. I guess he fought a wizard in Jam. sure. So um, okay, that's kind of cool, man. This book is called Kingdom. Hey, looter! The bottom of this box turns into a shield, so you can take this apart. And you can see <laughs> that there's some punch apart pieces that turn it into to a, a little shield. A little that's kind of cool. Kind of cute. Uh, so the the theme of this is called Kingdom. It says um, this month's pin is um, a crate king of arms, so coat of arms. So it is supposed to kind of look like a. Uh, but it's not okay. It's not. It's not Harry Potter related at all. No, it's not. Um, hide your princess. The king of C -C 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 cool has arrived. So that's our little. Um, Indeed, the ice the ice king there. We've got 
are Hero of Time. Yeah, that is a cool looking. Um, that's a that's yeah. A cool I'm one. I'm very impressed with that T-shirt. Yeah, it's a cool shirt. Um, Once again, Loot Crate getting an A plus on the uh, on the crate. The color changing glass. The it is just the letters on it that uh, color change from a kind of clear to a red. Yeah, it's okay if someone I know who's into. This type of stuff. Right. The exclusive Lord of the Rings art print. Okay. I don't, I don't know what I'm ever going to do with that. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything ever with that. Um, so that's pretty That's pretty much this box right here. It's okay. What would I say this is? Um, psh, that's garbage. The color change glass is just something that I'm never, ever going to use. This is a, after, this, after this. This sip will be <laughs> yeah. its, its entire existence. But it's nice enough looking. And it's an actual glass. It's not a plastic cup or something. It's yeah. A, so and it's not a mug. Yeah, that's true. I'll give this box a six. Really? Pretty much all the points. This is like probably worth four points itself. Okay. On its own. Uh, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> sure, I understand, man. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Um, this loot pan, I'm never going to unlock anything with. This is just going to go into my stack of random prints that these people have now sent me over the last year. Um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, is anything there better than this little piece from the Powered Geek Box to you? Uh, besides the T-shirt, no. Yeah. T- I think that uh, on, on the day... The big winner is that T-shirt Agreed. for all four boxes. Agreed. Because I think that is just as it's soon as really as soon as you dope. opened it up, it was just like that's just so sick. It's really dope. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on when the shows are. I'm gonna go cut the sleeves off. I could got some scissors right here. Right, cut the sleeves so, off. Because like, um, sleeves, like some we had this guy in on a show earlier today who said hey, be out white out white trashed. Right, but um. He did not know who he was. Now, now here's the thing. It's, it, there's a difference between the sleeves being cut off and the guys who have the gaping hole that goes down to the, the, the whole side of the shirt. Yeah, that's terrible. And, and, and I, just kind of... a worker out of my what, house. One yeah, worker, who has yeah. that. And I mean, it's just like that low-hanging tank top. And it's just like, that just... So yuck. It is. It's yuck in so many ways. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I, I can't imagine a lot of people are going to cut sleeves off of their Zelda shirt. Like, right, you know, it, it doesn't seem like things are going to go together. Like, I have my sleeves cut off of this. This is my Dina Crew TV shirt as we produce a show on Tuesday nights here called uh, Ultimate Jam Night Live at the Whiskey. Uh, this week we did a uh, show where the people were who are in the bands were playing music, and that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I heard what next week's is. It is a tribute to Chester Cheeto. No, 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 no. Uh, Chester Bennington. Um, it's much more serious than Chester Cheeto would lead me to believe. Uh, this was a fun week of boxes. Uh, I got a couple of nice things here. Brent, you are going to take. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll you, give, I'll give let that. Let us know. Sure. Um, how I'll be touch control joystick for touch screens. And um, I got a shirt that will make it into my, my rotation. Uh, I got the next couple of days as a carefree bachelor as my wife has taken off on a road trip with her parents. I wish them good luck and that everything goes smoothly on their trip. Branson and I are going to head out on Friday to Magic Mountain yeah. Six Flags. Now, did you hear about that? Since we do have a, about two minutes to fill. Did you hear about how the Six Flags over uh, the theme parks will now all be American flags? Really? Yes. They have, now they used to be, they used to have Mexico, uh, Spain, the United States, uh, whatever state the the um, the park was in, and a couple of others. I don't remember off all of them off the top of my head. And each of them represented something specific to that Six Flags name. Mm-hmm. But uh, in the wake of all of the uh, issues that are going on and divisiveness that's going on in this country, they've decided to go with will be American flags. Wow. So this is a some type of response-ish to Charlotte and the racism. Uh, I think it's just a, I think it's a, that was like the uh, straw that broke the camel's back for sure. Well, the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back, the other, um, this will be the last news thing we talk about. Did you hear what happened with ESPN and them dropping one of their um, Who did they game? drop? Oh, what, did they dropped a game? No, they dropped one of their game reporters, like one of their guys who are in the booth. Who did they drop? Robert Lee. Really? Yeah, because his name is sounds like Robert E. Lee. It, it's too triggering to people. So they had to get rid of their announcer, who's been with the network for 10 years. 
Like, um, like you couldn't go to him and say, hey, Robert, can, can, we, can we ask you to go by Bob for a little while? Well, uh, maybe he would be willing to do that. But in his culture, Robert is, um, you know, much more respected. Like, he, he, he's a Chinese guy. Are you kidding me? No. I mean, Lee is like, is there a more common name in, like, the Asian culture? There probably is, and I'm probably, you know... Uh, jingoistic or xenophobic not knowing what the more popular last name is but honestly Lee is about as common of a name for Asian people as I know Yep. and for him to get fired and, and let go because his name would remind people of, of you know, Robert E. Lee the, the, yes. the southern general of the confederate army it, it, it's somewhat lunacy somewhat lunacy I'm not a fan Okay, anything else for you to um, pimp out before the week's over? Nope, we gotta get we gotta get off the air. We do? Yes, Why, it's about do that we time. have another show coming on tonight? Well, in a little while we do. What, what do we still have on live tonight? Uh, later tonight, oh. uh, in two hours, we've got um, the uh, Suicide Girls Radio. Oh, right. That's right. There's no Vicky Abelson this week. No Vicky Abelson this week. But this is my new shirt. I'm fucking stupid with it. And um, there we go, guys. So thank you so much for watching all of our nonsense. Uh, as we call this Best show of the month because I'm gonna agree with that. It's it's been the best show of the month, so it's it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of fun stuff. So who knows if Deadpool's gonna stick around and keep dancing on our desk? Uh, hard to say. We'll um, see. We'll see how our life has been affected. Uh, as always, this is Jake Belcher and I'm Brant Thoman, and we really, really, really appreciate you guys. We really do. Uh, tell your friends to watch it and that it's fun, and um, you know it doesn't cost anything. So. You know, your friends will think you're cool and that they've hooked, you've hooked them up for life. And um, later on when you're, like, in an old folks home and you're both sitting there like, oh, broken down, you're like, oh, life sucked. Except for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs>